What if I told you that sunlight may help improve your blood glucose by increasing your carbohydrate metabolism? Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enin, doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. Today, we are diving into a very fascinating topic. And the topic is, can sunlight actually help you metabolize carbohydrate better? The answer may surprise you and is backed by solid science. Let's talk about sunlight, mitochondria, and metabolic health. So first things first, sunlight isn't just about vitamin D. It delivers energy directly to your cells a special infrared light, which is the warm, invisible light you feel on your skin once the sun hits you. When this light hits your skin, it penetrates into your tissues and stimulates the mitochondria, which is the tiny powerhouses inside your cell. The mitochondria is the energy factory of the cell. These mitochondria convert glucose from carbohydrates into ATP, your body's energy currency. With sunlight, you increase your cellular voltage. That's like boosting your internal battery more charge more energy and better metabolism so what we need to understand is that once we get exposed to sunlight it hits our mitochondria and it converts carbohydrate into glucose to make energy and that is something unique to know that sunlight by way of its actions can even affect our carbohydrate metabolism now this is where it gets interesting once the sunlight hits the mitochondria, it activates some enzyme called the cytochrome C oxidase, which further burns more carbohydrate by way of converting oxygen and glucose to ATP. So there's more energy, there's more sunlight, there's more voltage in the body. Now, most people have inflammation going on, chronic inflammation, so to speak, and inflammation affects our glucose uptake. So when we have chronic inflammation, it affects our blood glucose utilization. And most people sometimes get confused with inflammation. We have acute inflammation. This is where you have a cut and they're swollen. And we have the chronic inflammation, which is a low-grade immune response that persists over time, even though there is no immediate infection or threat or injury. And this comes about because of poor diet, leaky gut, toxin exposure, autoimmune diseases all these when you have all these going on it affects glucose uptake and it affects blood glucose control so inflammation affects us now guess what once you have inflammation what helps is natural sunlight yes sunlight is actually anti-inflammatory so it's able to bring inflammation down so if you are insulin resistant pre-diabetic or even dealing with fatigue after eating carbohydrates sunlight may be part of the solution also to note is that our body runs on a 24-hour clock which is the circadian rhythm which regulates our cortisol our melatonin and insulin yes it regulates our insulin our circadian rhythm regulates our insulin so morning sunlight helps reset this internal clock which is the circadian rhythm so it tells your body to wake up metabolize and even burn energy so very important that we understand this concept people who get morning sunlight tend to have better blood sugar control improved energy and better sleep and all these impact how well you process carbohydrates throughout the day so how can we get sunlight to work for our metabolism and i'm going to share some practical tips the first one is we want to get morning sunlight within the first 90 minutes of waking up you want to aim for about 10 to 20 minutes no sunglasses no windows just pure light and two we want to expose more skin so once you wake up and we get out in the sun we want to expose our arms our face our legs and let that infrared penetrate the skin so for those of us abroad what we can do to help mimic the effect of the sunlight in the winter months when there is no sun is to use the sun and that is also something that we can do also you want to skip sunscreen for short exposure times you need the light to reach yourself four you want to combine light with grounding stand barefoot on the earth grass sand or soil this helps improve mitochondria function and improves circulation grounding improves mitochondria function and reduces inflammation because in grounding what happens is that 
Grounding releases free electrons into the body, and this neutralizes the free radicals in the body and helps improve mitochondria function. So grounding is very, very important, especially if you are trying to improve our mitochondria health. Also, once we are in the sun, we want to do light movements, short walks to increase our glucose uptake because anytime we walk, we cause the muscles to uptake glucose, and this all helps with our glucose metabolism. So in wrapping up, the sunlight helps metabolize or break down our carbohydrates not directly but it supercharges our mitochondria reduce inflammation and optimize our circadian rhythm all of which help our body handle carbohydrates more effectively so use nature's free energy wisely step into the sun get that sun exposure and remember metabolic health starts with simple powerful habits such as this and this is another pearl of health wisdom if this content resonates smash the like button share and subscribe let's stay empowered and keep abreast with knowledge the holistic way i will see you in the next video thanks for watching